Hey pool owners, today we're going to show you how to wire the Hayward Aquarite on 115 voltage. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the power that you're going to supply to this unit is turned off at the breaker. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Uh, next thing you're going to do is just open the door to the Aquarite and you're going to start by removing these two screws. Uh, you can use a flathead screwdriver or a 5 16 socket. All right, once you get those screws removed, go ahead and take out this front panel. Set that to the side. All right, since the Aquarite comes set on uh, set up for 230, you're going to have to move the uh, jumpers that are on the circuit board. So what you want to do is uh, locate the metal jumpers on terminals 2 and 3, right here, and it's on circuit board. It's labeled 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can loosen those screws and remove the uh, jumpers with a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, and as you can see, there's two, one on top of the other. All right, so the next step is going to be um, positioning the jumpers in the right position for 115 voltage. Uh, so the first one, first thing we'll do is loosen the screw on terminal one and then slide the jumper underneath there. And you can go ahead and tighten the number two terminal screw, kind of keep the jumper in place. You can leave the number one loose because we'll need that loose for when we wire, uh, wire it up. And uh, then go ahead and do the same thing down here, loosen terminal four, and then slide the second jumper underneath three and four. And go ahead and tighten three and leave four loose because we're gonna, again, wire that up. So now we have the jumpers in place for 115 voltage. Before we can feed the wires in, we're gonna have to um, punch out one of these knockouts and you can see the, the knockouts are these circular pieces on the inside of the box. One's here, one's at the bottom. Once you knock one of those out, go ahead and thread a half inch uh, male pipe threaded terminal adapter in place. After you've uh, got the conduit adapter in place, you can go ahead and feed the wires through. Um, on 115 uh, voltage, you'll typically have uh, three wires. You'll have a black hot line, you have a white neutral line, and a green for the ground. And uh, in this particular installation, we're using 14 gauge wire, which is sufficient uh, for the Aquarite. Uh, the Aquarite, even when it's running at 100%, is only pulling about 8 amps max. So 14 gauge is sufficient as long as your runs, you know, under 50 feet. So you're going to connect the black hot line to terminal one. So you can just feed that under the screw. All right, and then take the white uh, neutral line and go ahead and put that on terminal four. All right, and then the last one's going to be the ground wire, which you'll put right under that green screw. And you can use a, a flat head or a 516 socket and Get that under there and wrap it around. All right, so again, you have the hot wire, the black one going to terminal one, the white neutral one going to terminal four, and the green line going to that green screw at the back of the box. All right, you got it wired up, so go ahead and pop the panel back in place and put the two screws back in. All right, the last step is going to involve bonding the Aquarite box. Uh, you'll notice a bonding lug on the bottom of the Aquarite box. You want to uh, connect that bonding wire to the bonding wire uh, somewhere in your system. Usually the easiest thing to bond it to is the, uh, the, the bonding wire going to the motor. Uh, for more information on how to bond it, check out our guide titled How to Add a Line to the Pool Bonding Wire. Uh, we'll link that uh, within the how-to guide and the uh, 
and in the YouTube description. Um, and after you bond it, uh, the last thing you got to do is, is turn it on at the breaker and your aqua rice should now power up on 115 voltage.